Well, Minnesota Governor Tim Wall was making a final push for the Harris campaign on the Navajo Nation in Window Rock, Arizona. Our reporter Julian Paras was out there today to find out why he decided to come here before Election Day. Saturday afternoon, Minnesota Governor and Vice Presidential nominee Tim Walls arriving in Gallup, New Mexico, as there are only 10 days left until the election. New Mexico leaders coming out to welcome his arrival, like Zuni Pueblo Governor Arden Cucate. My hope is that we're going to have the consistency in terms of making sure that federally recognized tribes are um, able to continue being at the table for a lot of the significant discussions. No election has been as important to the Navajo people as this one on November 5th. Navajo Nation President Boone Nigren and hundreds of others gathering in Window Rock, Arizona, where Walls would be joined by Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, pleading others across the nation coming out to cast their vote as well. It's not rocket science. If it was, I could help. But it ain't. Then Walls would take the stage. The governor met with applause. Your love of the Navajo Nation and of the United States is strong, and your presence here is proof of that. Thank you. Wall says things like health care, infrastructure, and economic development are just a few things he and Harris would want to tackle in D.C., things he believes also affects the Navajo Nation. With 10 days left until the election, he is stressing how important this election is. We're running like everything's on the line because everything's on the line. Although the governor would be met with strong support, he did not shy away from how close he believes this election could be. There's two choices in this race, and the differences you know are huge. Walls is now heading to campaign in Phoenix, Arizona. For KOAT Action 7 News, I'm Julian Paras.